Well, obviously, very disappointed with our performance today. I, I, we had a lack of effort, lack of energy. Um, intensity was not there, particularly in the first half. And we have been, the last couple games, with the SEMO game and the Evansville game, strong starting first half, slow starting second half. So at halftime, I was relatively encouraged that we hadn't played our best half yet. And indeed, we played a better second half. It was just, just uh, not enough. And foul trouble plagued us, but the, most, the biggest stat on the, on the sheet is our turnovers. We turned it over. We allowed them to have 17 steals. Couple that with poor shooting. Our two starting guards were two of 23, three of 23 from the field. Um, and we just didn't shoot the ball very well. Got to the foul line, had opportunities in the bonus first half, bonus second half, and, and simply could not come up with, uh, with the charity stripe and, that they were giving us. And uh, we, ch we, we took a lead. They had two back-to-back -back threes. Last time we had ever led. And, and, and then bottom line is um, we, we just we didn't, we didn't have the fight we needed. And I, I give uh, William and Mary a ton of credit. They're searching for answers themselves. They have a new coach. They have some nice players. And... And they wanted this win more than we did, and that's what's disappointing. The the good news, if there is any, um, I thought Sadie Stepanovich had a great second half. She responded to nearly every emotion that I had um, in me. Um, you know, you laugh, you cry, you yell, you cheer, you do a lot of different things. And I thought Sadie did a nice job responding. She ends up with a double double. Olivia Jacobisek, you can't ask more for her from her or Aaron Nelson. So our freshman really stepped up to the plate and and took the challenge. Uh, we just have to get everybody on the same page and hopefully uh, rebound from this quickly as we play the winner of the Iowa State and Holy Cross game.